Hi, welcome to a brief Perky Number video on maintaining your high performance audio ICP OAS system. I'm Aaron Heineman, and in this video, I will demonstrate how to reinsert the torch module for your audio ICP. This torch design is carried through the audio series, including the Audio 220 Max system we have here. Before inserting the torch module into the torch mount, verify that the torch locking pin on the torch mount is pulled fully outward. Rotationally align the torch module so the long vertical alignment line on the torch holder body is centered with the torch locking pin. While pushing the torch module slowly upward into the torch mount, be careful to keep the torch glassware centered in the induction plates. Continue to push the torch module upward until it's fully seated. Verify that the injector assembly is locked into position with the torch holder. Then push the torch locking pin inward until it's fully seated. Next, I will show you how to adjust the torch height. Note that this does not need to be done every time you install the torch. For most laboratories and applications, once you have found your required position, it is not readjusted. To adjust the torch height, pull the torch height locking lever out and then adjust the height so that the horizontal line for the desired position is flush with the mount. Push the torch height locking lever inward to lock the position. Typical settings are minus three for aqueous samples and minus four for oils and organic analysis. This setting indicates the distance from the auxiliary tube of the torch, the inner tube, and is that many millimeters below the bottom RF plate. Note, you should also check to see that the injector tip is approximately two millimeters below that auxiliary tube. If the distances are not correct, the torch or injector may not have been assembled correctly. I would recommend removing the torch and verifying proper assembly. Next, we will reinstall the spray chamber assembly into the injector. Your software manual and these how-to videos are great resources to help get you familiar with your ICP instrument and software. For additional training, I would recommend signing up for a Perkin Elmer training course or contact your local Perkin Elmer representative for additional options. For more information on how to maintain your audio ICP instrument, continue watching our audio ICP how-to video series. 